t-shirt and it looked awful on camera. I tried a white t-shirt and it looked awful on camera. So it's all blue, there's red shoes, and there's red lipstick. So God, God, bless America. God bless America. Thank you so much for all your messages. It's really exciting. Uh, so today we are going to do a um, Italian-American mix. And it's a very fun one. Um, we're actually going to do two, uh, two recipes. We're going to have a pizza with the American flag. And we're going to have a uh, play on apple pie because what's more American than apple pie and we're gonna have an apple pie on pizza dough which I've never made before so it's going to be hey Jay hey Jacqueline um, so it's going to be um, an experiment for all of us together so <sighs> before we start um, I made my I did some prep yesterday because I wanted to make sure that we would both taste both dishes and that I would have time to talk to you. So uh, what I did yesterday, I uh, made my pizza dough, which is actually a flatbread dough, uh, beautiful. And actually there's another one here and uh, part of it already baked for, oh, this smells so good. It reminds me of when I um, grew up in, uh, up in the mountains of Valle d'Aosta and we were real near the, um, the, 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 um, the, not the factory, the oven where they baked uh, Grissini and bread every night. And this smell is pure, it smells like home, it smells like tradition. It's amazing. And it's actually really easy. I always say I'm not a baker. However, this recipe never fails me. And this recipe for the dough, not for the pizza. The recipe for the dough comes from this brilliant chef, Tal Ronan, who has one of the best vegan restaurants in Los Angeles on Melrose. Um, this, I never go wrong with his flatbread recipe. And uh, I have made this so many times and never, it never failed me. And it's beautiful, it's amazing because you can either follow his recipes when it comes then to the flatbread itself, and there's a lot of use of Kite Hill almond ricotta, or you can just use it for as a pizza. It's uh, for some reason is the one recipe that never goes wrong, and it's really easy. So I think it's on my website. Uh, my website may be in construction because there is a big surprise coming for my website. But um, the, the the recipe is there. I'm gonna maybe take a a. a a photo of this recipe and post it for you because it's really worth it, okay? So, that said, the dough, it's Tal Ronan's recipe, and this is an amazing cookbook. Let's get to the point. Uh, let me see, let me talk to you. They can't see you like that. You Cookie, can. I'm all in the clear. Yeah, Benmont is doing great. He's in the clear. Um, so... What are we doing today? We're starting with the American flag pizza. I made it a few years ago for 4th of July and it was a success. And really this dough is so versatile. Versatile, versatile? Didn't you just say you never made it with pizza dough before? No, the apple. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, no, this is a, so uh, this dough is very oily because the good thing about it, because I, I put it in the fridge, I made it last night, as I said. Um, the great thing about this dough, I like, I usually um, make it, have four, divided in four batches for little bowls, and you can actually freeze it for up to three months. And as long as you make, uh, let it thaw in the fridge the night before, it's amazing. So... I put it in two containers to keep in the fridge and I oiled the containers very well. I don't like to use like cooking spray, so I was very generous with um, with all the extra virgin olive oil. So it makes it a very beautiful, moist, uh, oily dough. So now, Again, this is, being that it's a flatbread, it has a different consistency from the pizza, also in terms of, of lying it flat. Um, I have, congratulations, thank you so much. Um, 
I have uh, sauteed some spinach earlier with just some butter and salt flakes. <coughs> this is gonna be our blue part of the, of the flag. Butter, salt, and, and spinach. And then I just chop them very finely so that it can give uh, a nice, um, hey Barbara, um, so that it can make a nice pattern. Okay, so the purpose of this now here is to make it square, okay? I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we can try. No, square, rectangular. We're making a flag, you guys. Uh, can you hand me... No, you don't really <clears throat> flatten the pizza with a rolling pin. Why not? Uh, thank you guys for the congratulations. Uh, it was very exciting. You know, I've been studying with Ben for the past few weeks and I learned so much. For example, I'll tell you one thing. Actually, you can interrogate me if you want. Um, I'll tell you one thing. Do you guys know why we vote? I say we because now I'm going to be able to vote in November. Was the founding fathers, right? They were, were decided that November was a month that was not, was no, I mean, it is not winter yet. So it's not too cold. And uh, the har the harvest so the har yeah, the harvest is done, but it's not winter yet, so people could travel. And also it's on a Tuesday because it's after the weekend and uh, people can, could, fl could, fl could uh, travel on a Monday to go vote. And so that really makes you think that there's always a reason for things, or mostly. I think that there's always a reason for things, mm -hmm. even the bad things that happen to us. Um, or to our country, but even to us. I think that there's always a reason. That was a very interesting thing. And I, I, you know, I learned so much. Uh, I learned that, uh, what did I learn? Well, <coughs> what did I learn that I didn't know? Yes, tell me, Ben. Do you toss pizza dough? Is that kind of flattening? Yeah, but that's, uh, yeah, Ben is asking me uh, if I toss the pizza dough. Talented, yeah. talented pizza makers. Who do the whole thing? Wrong, yeah. Wrong no, because I I, no. The reason why I'm not being uh, showing off a because I can't afford it. I could, I wouldn't be able to do it. And B because this is a flatbread. So this is the way of of thinning and spread and flattening this dough. But yeah, the people who can do it, like the real Neapolitan pizza, is uh, is all worked by hand. Um, I love, you can say, our country now, yes. Oh, how are you guys? How was your, look at this beauty. How was your weekend? What did you do over the weekend? Did you go to a Halloween party? Um, are you going to trick or treat on Thursday? We are not. Um, uh, next year, I think. This year is too, we end up having candy at the house and... Um, I love Lucille Ball with the pizza. I don't think I, I've seen her. My daughter makes pizza at the winery in James, in Jamesport, New York. Oh, so she's probably better at, um, at lying it down. Um, official, I turn it, yeah, I turn it because, I don't know why. <laughs> because it helps me flatten and make sure that the surface is more, um, uniform. So I'm dressing up as Tom Petty. Okay. Um, I went to an apple orchard with my friend on Saturday. Nice. I made your tofu and bok choy dish tonight. That's amazing. I'm so glad. I'll tell Elise. I'll tell Elise that you um, is my to go is my go to when I make tofu these days. Tossing pizza dough isn't done in Italy. Tossing. What does it mean? Tossing. Yes. Well, it's done in Naples. That's how they it's make so, it. Yeah, Naples. they do it. They do it like this. That's how. <laughs> Is it done in Piemonte? Yeah, I mean pizza, pizza, you know, a pizzaiolo. Pizzaiolo is the man who makes pizza, or the woman, I don't know, pizzaiola. And so, yeah, they do this. <sighs> I don't know if they really do this, but um, Ed had his first tennis lesson on Saturday. Very exciting. I used to do tennis when I went to high school. 
the school was under construction for the first two years, so that we had no gym, and so we played tennis for two years instead of PE. Um, I'll post it too, though. I love Lucy Classic. It transcends all languages. She was the master of physical comedy. Yes, I agree. Okay, so let me show you. This is a pretty decent rectangular, don't you think? Uh, I don't want to make it too thin. I um, So let me see. Uh, how's the How does it look in tennis shorts? Uh, let me see. What are, So the weekend, um, Halloween. How are you guys feeling about Halloween? And also, let's face it, you know, the truth is that it's almost Christmas. <laughs> you guys, I think that Christmas time for us, me and you, is going to make it or break it because I can become really annoying for Christmas. And so I cannot wait to start everything Christmas. Music. Uh, decorations, food, oh, everything Christmas. Okay, here we have a beautiful pizza, a beautiful flatbread. Now, the fun part, this is something really cool that you can do with your kids. And you can do a savory one or a salty one. Like if you go with this, with oh, salt, a savory or a sweet one. Um, I was almost like Joe Biden. Today I was, <laughs> no, today I heard on the radio when he said something like, uh, I, I said, I, I believe in truth, not facts. He's been doing these things lately. <laughs> um, so I was listening to NPR earlier. So this, um, if you do savory, you can work with spinach. Spinach make a great one. I'm using spinach, mozzarella cheese. I made some fresh tomato sauce and I'm using some goat cheese. If you use, um, if you want to do sweet, uh, blueberries, strawberries, and whipped cream. Very simple. Now, let's decide how big we want the, um, let's decide how big we want our blue, go, like like this, like this. Let me do it with my nails, I wash my hands. No, no, wait, what are you doing? My hands are clean, it should be like that. Are your hands clean, are you sure? No, they're all clean. Like this? You can put 13 stars for the colonies in a circle. In a circle? Are they in a circle? No, they're not in a circle. Are they? Ben can talk very much because he has stitches, and uh, they took out two on his tongue, and they took out two stitches today. And one of the reason we end up. Oh wait, should I put some uh, cheese in here? No, no. One of the reasons why we end up at the emergency room the other day is that one stitch very likely popped. So he's being very cautious, but he's doing fine. He's doing great, actually. He's really recovering. Um, he had some gnocchi yesterday. This is gross, I found here. <laughs> uh, he uh, ate my gnocchi yesterday, very slowly, with just some butter, which I was talking to Elise today about butter. She asked me why I was sauteing spinach with butter. I said, because there's something about, sp I saute everything with oil, but spinach to me go perfect with, with um, butter. And she said, well, everything is good with butter. And it's true. So he just said gnocchi with butter. Now, let's be generous with the spinach also because if this is a dinner, you want to have your greens, right? Right, right, right? No. No? Who said no? Now, I love to. I actually really love making pizza. If I had the patient of um, patience of making the dough more often, it's kind of messy. This is a oh. yeah, it's kind of messy. Okay, lovely, lovely. You want to make it bigger so you can fit more stars? Hmm? No, it's fine. I think this is perfect, isn't it? Do you mm -hmm. want to do more? Like, do you guys? What do you guys think? Go to the, to the edge, I just need more. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm to the edges. I'll be here. No, don't leave me alone. I'm glad that Ben went is on the mend, continued healing thoughts. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. It was just very scary and um, <sighs> and also, huh? È troppo difficile parlare. È troppo difficile parlare. I know. So today I'll tell you what oh, questions, but oh, oh. what questions they asked me at the interview. They asked me. Um, what ocean was 
um, the Pacific Coast. Then they asked me, who was the Supreme Court, um, who's the um, head justice? Is that head justice? Chief. Chief justice. God, they're going to take it away from me this, after this show. <laughs> so who was the chief justice? Then they asked me, um, what, what is the law of the land? And then they asked me, what did the, Ben, how's it called? The... Um, Emancipation. The Emancipation Proclamation Act, right? Proclamation. Proclamation. And I then the... Okay, that. sorry. And then they asked me... Oh, I need to hurry. And then they asked me who was the freaking president of the United States of America. The guy was really cool, actually. Okay, so we have our spinach. Now, it's going to be fun. I'm going to use goat cheese. It's not blue. It's going to have goat cheese for the stars. So how do I put the stars, Ben? Can I just put them like this? Mm -hmm. Two, three, oops. Fifty. Four. Fifty. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hi, Emma. Ten. It's actually more than ten. Well, this is giant. Um, I'm wondering why are some states are bigger than the others, but so yeah, it was a very exciting morning. I had to wake up at five, which wasn't really exciting, but meat and tiny. it was very exciting. What? Nice and neat. I lost count. Somebody will count them and blame us for something. You guys want to count? I haven't studied this stuff since grade school. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what, you know what I found really, I, I actually really enjoyed studying it because there were things, there, you know, there were things that I knew, but there were many things I didn't know. But what I found really sad is that in the entire booklet that I'm going to show you, there was only one question that mentioned a woman and only one question that mentioned Native Americans. So that was quite uh, sad that in the history of America, they could only mention Susan B. Anthony is kind of really... They didn't ask anything about black people except for the... Oh, and also black schools. people, by the way, just Mar and yeah, Martin Luther King was Jr. was the only one that they, that they mentioned. But, you know, <sighs> it was a special moment nonetheless. It really was. So we have goat cheese. I like to use both goat cheese and mozzarella just to give it different flavor profile. They probably a whole, a whole, the That's it. How many, do you want to put no, that? No, no, wait, wait. No, no, you, you know start. What? No, wait, wait. You know what this is? We have extra stars on here, but that's because all those territories, I'm looking at you, Puerto Rico, deserve statehood, right? So if we have a few extra stars because of all those territories, now, that, that deserves statement. I'm using pre shredded mozzarella. Forgive me, guys. I don't really, I've been so busy and I really wanted to, you know, in order to make this, I had to compromise on, on some prep. Oh, this mozzarella smells really good, though. Okay, is there anything better than cheese in this world? Mm -hmm. Cheese and chocolate, but also pasta. Well, I guess there are several good things in this world. Just yeah. join what you're making. Mama, Mama Cax? Mama, no, Mama Cass. Mm -hmm. I am making a pizza, an American flag pizza with spinach, mozzarella, tomato sauce, and goat cheese. And I'll also show you um, the, the, the tomato sauce. It's, well, I'm, I'm actually using a lot of cheese in here. I think that is a little too much. Mm. Mm, that's actually a nice mozzarella. The only thing with pizza, you have to use a low moisture one. I'm hungry today. When I wake up so early, I had, I woke up at five, had a slice of toast with goat cheese for breakfast. Sorry. And, um, and then I worked out, didn't have enough lunch. And now this mozzarella is really appealing. So, nice, okay. You have to use low moisture mozzarella, okay? That's the only... Um, that's the only, you know, attention, attention, or that's the only, you know, thing to be mindful for because otherwise it's going to really make the pizza watery. So now 
I'm going to hurry up and put it in the oven. Oh, okay. Okay. And now, yeah, we're going to hurry up and put it in the oven. Now, I made this fantastic tomato sauce. I used some cherry tomatoes, fresh basil, some oregano, and uh, one can of crushed San Marzano tomatoes. What kind? San Marzano. So, now this is the part that requires a little bit of um, precision and Ben, do you have uh, advice? Uh, guys, now I'm stuck. Ben, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. And then you go back to, I, I so how am I doing the stripes now? Do well, I, I have to be, they have to be 13? There's 13. There, it's but you know, it won't be precise, you know? No, it's white stripes and red stripes combined equal 13. Yeah, it's, okay, so it starts with the white. It starts with white. Guys, know. help me out here. I've just become an American today. My Italian husband, Bob, is watching tonight for the first time. Hey, Bob. He's a master of making pizza. Ooh, so don't judge, please. Don't judge, please. How, how does the... Truly, he's a little late. Starts uh, Starts with the red. You guys need to... Oh, thank you. Somebody was already... Starts and uh, ends with the red. Okay. Somebody was already helping me here. Okay, love, I'll see you in a second. Ben is just going to go out for a second and run an errand very quickly. Echo. Echo, I keep saying. Reina is out. I think she went from, she, she walked outside from the. So, one, two, three. Okay. Hopefully Catherine is going to love it. She's um, yesterday she had the gnocchi. Love them. Thank God. Red on bottom. Yeah, I mean red on yeah. You mean the bottom means that the very last one is the red, right? That is starting to look great, thank you. Um, hopefully it's gonna cook in time. Oh guys. I really love I really love having these um, weekly. I wanted to ask you something. Um, whenever I have this tendency of being, I want some, I want extraordinary things to happen, and by extraordinary I mean things, not usual things, so great things like the excitement or the like something extraordinary, in the literal sense. But then. When I when the extraordinary is about to happen, I really experience it with a lot of anxiety. Like I was really anxious for today, and not because I was afraid of not passing it, because you know I knew that I I would, but I I dreaded the waking up at five, which is like you know get over it. It's, but then, but I also dread the the anticipation of it for some reason, and so. Um, and then the extraordinary event passes, you know, happens, passes, and I am in the moment when it happens, and then I have this crash of, um, okay, of like, a, like almost a depression when the extraordinary happen, um, has left me. But, and I wonder why can't I, and then tell me guys if you, uh, tell me guys if you uh, feel the same do you feel like do you can you manage the anxiety in a healthy way before an extraordinary event comes in your life or are you because I think that for me that anxiety is stronger than than the, the excitement the pleasure of the event so I don't know this was a very long um, question so do you have anything similar what's your do you have anxiety Tell me, tell me, tell me, because mm, it's nice. One day we should, um, one day we should really make this tomato sauce because it's so simple, so easy, and uh, and it's really delicious. You can keep it in the fridge. I'm trying to do that. Have you tried tapping? You know, I I haven't. A therapist suggested. Our marriage counselor um, suggested it, and then I can never follow through. 
Um, I know, tapping. Yes, huge. Uh, sharing the anxiety beforehand has helped me. Okay, that's a great idea. I tend to never share before. I get anxiety. Yes, I feel that too. I find it helpful to continually remind myself to stay in the moment. That's always a good thing. My anxiety is the same way. I'm better at taking, at talking to myself down the older I get. I think that so many things get better the older you get. It's always anticipation that was worse, anxiety after you know, I feel, I know, I feel stupid. Yeah, exactly. And also because instead of being anxious, there could be this anticipation, you know. I mean, it could be a anxiousness that it's uh, healthy, you know, because you are, it's more of excitement. So I would like to transform that into more of a anticipation excitement. I talk to myself something out loud and it works. Okay, thank you. You can try to do that. I have a margarita. I can do that, you guys. Uh, ben went, Reina, Ben went, um, down, he pulled out the car, okay? He pulled the car out, so he's ready, waiting, okay? Thank you for everything. Okay. I keep licking my finger. Um, I listen to music and try to relax. Pizza is the cure for everything. I should make more pizza. It's really coming on nice. It's really coming on nice here, you guys. I love this. So when this is in the oven, we're going to, you tap acupunctural spots, look up, okay. Thank you, thank you so much. I will absolutely look him up. I talk to myself and take a deep breath, okay. You know what I tend to do? I tend to just hide and in like, I need to be covered. I need a blanket and I need to kind of hide and, uh, and that's, um, that's my MO. And I'm really learning not to um, do that. But there's some old ideas and some old um, some old patterns that are really difficult to to give up. You know, it's really difficult when you, you've done something for years. You know. So here we have the the stripes. Then no, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Damn it. But I know that they are 14, and I also know why they're 14, because it's 13 original colonies. And if you ask me what they are, three of them, because that was the question, New York, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. Okay, so, you guys, I'm going to put some salt. I'm actually going to put some salt flakes, because I'm into that as you know, and I'm going to put some um, olive oil. Nice. Nice. I'm so looking forward to this. Now, some olive oil, even though we may not really need it. But I don't know how they do it. They oh, sorry. They do this. <laughs> you guys, I don't know how to do this. I think I just did. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. Put it in the oven for 15 minutes, so we'll make it. Um, and let, let's check it after 15 minutes at 400 degrees, okay? I thought that there is no America without apple pie, right? So, what are we doing today? Since we can't obviously make an apple pie, but I had some pizza dough that I, I used the same, I said dough, okay? What I'm doing now, I'm sauteing some apples with some spices, a mix of spices, okay? What I did earlier this afternoon, I made a flatbread, the same dough, okay? I cooked it for 10 minutes. 
so that because I want to try this too later with you guys and I had it I, I had the dough, I needed the dough to be ready okay apples let's not bring out um, cutting board etc 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 because I want to show you that you don't always need to do the whole professional thing okay so we have three apples we have a Fuji we have a uh, pink lady which is my favorite and we are have a granny smith okay so what we do let me need a this oops okay i'm going to i want to saute them pretty thin so that they cook or uh, they cook quicker okay so i'll show you what i'm doing i'm just doing this thick okay see you know just because I'm going to saute and I want them, yeah, I want them actually quite thin so they cook quickly. Let's look at the time. Um, I'm gonna saute these in some butter, brown sugar, and I'm gonna mix some uh, cloves, some cinnamon, some ginger, some cardamom, and some nutmeg, okay? Because it's fall, winter is about to come. Today was chill in LA, it was also a very bad fire day. Mm. I love apples. Catherine loves them too. Mm -hmm. I wish you could adopt me, somebody. <laughs> How old are you? I mean, not that we're thinking to adopt, believe me. Okay. I'm going to use half. Mm. We have snow. Oh, so beautiful. I miss snow. But I miss it, but then my mom reminds me of the, the other side of snow, which is not the beauty of the white candid um, blanket. Is uh, when it, when it um, melts. So... I don't know. I miss it. I don't miss it. I think my, I, I miss the, me, you know, the memories there and I miss those. 51. Do you want to be, are you, are you a woman? Do you want to be Catherine Little, um, Little, older sister or brother? I don't know if you are a woman or a man. Saluti da Roma. Grazie, Matt. Oh, I miss, mi manca Roma, è una vita che non ci vado. Um, la pizza vince ogni ansia. True. I don't make it that enough. Ah, Roma Capoccia. Guys, listen to Antonello Venditti. He's a great, he's one of the most, one of the best Italian songwriters from Rome. He's the symbol of Rome. Beautiful. Um, one of my favorite. Okay, so maybe one day we can talk about Italian music. No, well, that Ben talks about music. We talk about um, me too, Christy. We talk about. Um, okay, Carol, do, what's your name, Carol? Oh, Katie. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Oh. Katie, do you want to be Catherine's uh, older sister? So we have our apples here. I'm not gonna use them all because that. So I th yeah, I couldn't make an apple pie, obviously. And also, I really don't have a good recipe for crust. If you do, please share it with me. Because I love pumpkin pie, and apple pie, pecan pie. I love this country's pies. So I still wanted to to um, to do something really American, not just an American flag on an Italian dish. So I thought, hey, let's really play with apple pie. And you can, and of course, you're gonna have this with some good vanilla bean ice cream. Promise me, because I am. Actually, I don't think I have vanilla. I think I have pistachio. Yes, I would love that too much here in Colorado all of a sudden. Yeah, I heard. Oh, hey, Katie. Hi, I didn't see you. Okay, so we have the apples. I'm going to put some butter. Probably should have put the butter first. But, um, I'm going to move this to the stove. So we can all see what I'm doing. I just want to have them go first. Checking on the pizza. Checking on the pizza. I'm gonna move both our cameras. Um, let me see how. 
because I'll tell you what I'm trying to do these days, these days today. I'm trying to find a way to record this episode on another device, which is my cell phone, so that um, I can then upload it on YouTube, okay? So here I am, YouTubers, because I want more people to be able to see it. Do you know what I mean? So I'm putting two devices together. Here we are. And we look at the store. Oh, I forgot the store. Can you guys see? No, let's change store. This one will be great, but you know what? The, they give me a stove that doesn't work. Isn't that annoying? If you move in and you have a stove that doesn't work. Okay, so Apple's on. I think I'm still learning how to use this. Okay, Apple's on. Uh, let's play with sugar and some uh, spices. Well, the sugar, and also I'm, I'm gonna squeeze just a tiny bit of a lemon so that we have the sugar. I'll go, well, actually, you know, this, that dough is, salt is savory, okay? There's not much salt, but it's savory. So we can be generous for once with the, with the sugar. You know that I'm always, I'm here, I'm just grabbing a lemon. And I'm going to also put some vanilla essence on there. So, you know, I always try to be not shy with sugar. Squeeze some lemon. So here basically is two, almost two apples, okay? Two and three quarters. Choose the apple that you want. Uh, we have the sugar, we have a beautiful butter. Also, because that dough is a little dry, because I pre-cooked it, um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the apples on top when they're caramelized and so they get to become soft, and I'm gonna just broil in the oven. So by the time the pizza is out, we're gonna broil this beautiful, uh, almost a galette. And um, we're gonna brown it, and so we're gonna be able to try both. Hopefully. So here we have our apples. Now let's play with some spices and some vanilla, okay? So yeah, I'm, I've been, I was generous with, I'm gonna probably add some more sugar. Generous with the butter and generous with the sugar because of the nature of our dough. So let's add some ginger. Let's add some cloves, essential for a good. Let's add some uh, cardamom, cardamom. Oops, not too much. I love spices. Now we're gonna add cinnamon. I just wanna, oh, it smells so good. Can you see better? Yeah, sorry about that. So, okay, mm. I love the smell. Let's be generous with our cinnamon. Oops, that was a lot, that was a lot of cinnamon. The apples smell fantastic as they cook and also, with butter and uh, so good. that actually to me this is a dessert already you know just um let's add some vanilla let me find the vanilla just the hey you're here um so just apples and you know when they teach you to never open something with your teeth and you never learn it until you Break your teeth? Well, I haven't learned it. I haven't broken my teeth yet. Oh, caramel. Mmm. You know, I really wish we could have this show all together, like in real life, just to smell these things because it's so good. Uh, ben, can, I need you to open this little bottle of vanilla to me, please. My hands are a little oily. Uh, I'll try one. So, because the smells are so special, all of them, and I find something really, really um, romantic about fall and winter smells. Probably it's because it's cold. I need to open this one with me. Thank you. Because it's uh, cold outside and uh, you want a blanket wrapped around you. You want the love of your life to wrap this in. 
around you. Uh, so yeah, I find this, what is this dish? This dish is basically a play on, uh, on apple pie and I'm gonna saute apples and caramelize them and then use the flatbread dough, oops, the flatbread dough to, as a base for our non-apple pie. Ooh, perfect vanilla. If you have some bourbon, I would use it. I don't have bourbon, uh, but bourbon, because... Bourbon vanilla. Yeah, but it, the thing is that it's Don't really, this would really make it perfect because then it burns out. So it's not really about the alcohol or I realize that I put this. Let me check on the pizza. Not there yet. Please, pizza, be ready. What are we going to do if we can't try it? Ooh, if we can't try it, the pizza is going to be epic fail. Epic fail. First time in a cooking show where the pizza, where the pizza, where they don't try the dish. Uh, Bobby Flame just fire me. No problem, Mandala. What? No problem, no problem Mandala. Why? Okay. La lingua. You, but I can. Okay. Ben is like, well, I can't eat it. So what does it mean that we don't eat it either? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lower the heat a little, maybe add just some, a tiny bit of water. See, I would really use if I had some uh, bourbon. I, you know, you all, as you, most of you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sober, I don't drink anymore, and I'm comfortable keeping wine in the fridge, some white wine, to cook, uh, but I couldn't keep a bottle of bourbon to cook, and I don't cook enough with bourbon to justify it. Awesome, thanks. Start another live. Oh, okay, that's true. True, start another live. Uh, potato cheese. Poor Ben, I would cry. I need soup. He needs soups. Yeah, I've been making him soups. I've been making him uh, uh, butternut squash soup, asparagus soup, um, like vegetable broth with lentils and rice, so. No salt. No salt. Yeah, I can't have salt. Can you have sugar? I'm gonna try the spices. Mm. Okay. I need more caramel. No. I think I'm gonna add a little more ginger. I can really taste the cloves. So maybe a little bit more cinnamon. And then uh, maybe a little bit more vanilla. Oops. Ooh. Can you put this on a piece of uh, toilet paper? Paper towel. <laughs> because it's going to stain the countertop. The stupid countertop. It's still my countertop. If you have uh, raisins, they'll be great. You can uh, soak the raisins in bourbon or rum. But with the apples, I think bourbon is perfect. And then you can just uh, add them if you have... Uh... Oh, Ben, do me a favor. In the mm -hmm. pantry, mm -hmm. I got some pecans. Mm -hmm. What's more American than apple and pecans, right? Yeah, you're right. I start if, if this runs a little long for once, I'll start another live. And I hope you all join me to um, taste the pizza. Mm. Nice. Nice. The vanilla almost give that alcoholic alcoholic yeah alcoholic taste flavor uh soup show you know i was talking to elise about it elise is helping me a lot in this and uh she i'm i'm actually thinking about making a soup episode and i'm gonna prepare the soup in advance so um so that we can taste because you know soups need time and it's also the beauty of soups the time that you uh, so i can make you my um Butternut squash and lentil soup. Maybe even next week. It's soup season, right? Butternut squash and lentils. Oh, lovely. And it's not a cream. It's like, oh yeah, butternut squash, lentils, and mushroom. That's it. You guys got it. You like it? Yes or no? Mm. Nice. Nice. What, love? Can you find the pecans? Thank you. Good. 
So yeah, soup next week, babe. Mm. Uh, mushroom, mushroom lentils and banana squash soup. Love it. I love making soups. You make beautiful soups. I make decent soups. You make beautiful soups. Thank you, my love. Okay, now we're gonna chop some pecans and I'm gonna put some I'm gonna spread some butter on the dough on the little flatbread. What temperature for the pizza? Uh, 400. And it's actually oh actually it's ooh, I think it's ready. So a few a few more minutes, but I think it's ready. So I would say 15 minutes. It was pretty thin, 15, 20 minutes, okay? So now here we have our apples. What I want to do is take another baking pan and uh, chop some. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Chop some, where is the other baking? Oh, here, ta-da. I'm going to chop some pecans, spread some butter. Hi, my love. Hi, Elise. Hi. Catherine just came back from the park. Like always at this time on Monday. So I'm gonna just spread some butter. And it doesn't even need to be spread out, but I want them moist. Because the, the dough came out a little dry. It needed to be... Ciao, amore mio. Ciao, patatina. E la luce. E la luce. Oh, Huggy, 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 Guardate what it is. Elisa, se vuole show you guys. Oh, someone wrote that this made their ear. So, instead of uh, spreading the butter, you can just, I'm going to show you now. Because it's a little complicated. Uh, I'm just going to put some little, little flakes of butter uh, all over it so that, okay because this is not a t this is not a crust okay this is a this is not a crust this is a dry flat bread so now oh the apples are perfect okay so what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you now apples are ready so what time is it can you tell me please ten to six ten to six and we may have to do just to take it just not to rush it. We can maybe start another life. And, uh, hmm? What? To try. To try. Yeah. Good. I don't know. So, yeah. If this ends, please follow me back and we'll do another live, okay? So, now I'll show you what I'm doing. So, we have our flip bread, okay? Put some butter in it. And then I'm going to also move somewhere else so there's a better light. This is much better light. I'm gonna put the apples. So this is also a an idea. If you're not a baker, you can either use puff pastry and make some kind of a tarta tin, or you can make a dough like this. If the if tarts, if the crust for a for a pie is not your thing um this is a good idea it's actually a little lighter than a tart than a pie because the dough is much um is much leaner and then of course we have um we're gonna serve it with ice cream okay so what i'm going to do now here is well, I think that the pizza is ready. What does she want? What does she want? She wants mama. Since I don't have the time to, to uh, I'm just going to sprinkle some pecans. You know, if you had the time, you might take out the, the cut. 
cutting board, you know, do it. It's, um, I like to cut on a cutting board. I've never been late to any Alice show. I think, let, me, let me check on the pizza. I think it's right now, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put this in. And uh, this, will be, this will give a nice crunch. And actually, if you, make, if you caramelize the, the pecans, ooh. Yeah, you know, I don't know if she really wants mommy. She actually really likes the camera. She knows that we have cameras in the garden and she knows where they are and she wants me in front of them. She's not even two, you guys. Uh, be ready. And we really try not to do screens, by the way. We're really, we keep the screens at the minimum with her. Um, she doesn't really watch TV. She watched a, 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 an Italian cartoon, Heidi. She loves it. But... Um, and somehow she knows where the cameras are. She knows she wants to have, she just wants photos. She wants to pose for photographs. And we tell her, Catherine, smile. She does this. Do I have to worry? Love Heidi. Yeah, I grew up, I loved Heidi. It was one of my favorite cartoons. So, so I would say the pizza has been there for 20 minutes now, okay? I'm going to take it out in a second. I just want this to be... Also, if you don't, if you don't have ice cream for this, just go with whipped cream. And, um, and now what we're gonna do, we're not really cooking it because everything is already cooked. We're going to just broil it, okay? So that the apples are gonna have a nice uh, crust, okay? Here we are. Fantastic. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take the pizza out. And broil. Beautiful, babe. I need photos. Mm. Broil? No. I need photos, my love. Huh? Now, we usually do this. We usually do this at the end of the show. To this is what happens behind the scenes. Are you gonna have it now during the show? Because then we're gonna destroy this beautiful thing. So, photo? Photo. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. awesome. Two, two. I like it. Did you eat the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Me too? I like it at an angle. I think it's better. Okay, that's all. Do you want to come to the people? Can you take a photo of this? And of them too. It's a cool photo. I am. How's that? Beautiful. Let's try, you guys. Let's also make sure that that thing doesn't burn. You ready? Try this beauty. Yeah, Ben takes great photos, and I'm also not an easy. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try the. Let's try that. It's so hot. I don't know if I can try. Ha! Amazing! Now, ooh! I'm happy. This makes me really happy. American pizza, you guys! Now, ooh, 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 you guys, ooh, I burned this. Oh, God. I burned it a little. It's good. Apple crisp. I'll be taking care of it. Apple crisp. I burned a little. <laughs> Sorry, but. You know what? We made it. <laughs> Apple crisp. How do I cut it? Yeah, there's a, I think a few of the pecans have um, burned. This was an experiment, okay? We all know this. Oops. 
So let's let's not judge. But we don't judge here, right? We don't judge here. Hmm. Very, very. You oh, actually ooh. Okay. Hmm. You guys, this thing. Okay. We're talking about Heidi. Imagine. And by the way, you can play with this and add stuff, okay? We were talking about Heidi. Now imagine this. You're up in the mountains. You're up in the mountains. You have a piece of freshly baked bread. You have an apple. The bread is fragrant. It's warm. The apple is juicy. It's apple season. Eat them together with some sugar. This is truly to die for. I'm not kidding. I would be more abundant with the butter. No more sugar. With the scoop of ice cream. This. Amazing, you guys. What a, and I'll tell you more. I just said this dough had a tiny bit of, um, I have a tiny bit of cracked pepper, okay? So the dough was salt, flour, yeast, um, water, and some black pepper. I just had a piece of, so this is the same dough of the pizza that we just made. I just had a piece of the a cracked pepper with the apple this is unbelievable. Oh, I wish I could taste it. I just created this scene. It's in the mountains. We have picked an apple. It's juicy. We have fresh bread. Eat some bread. And there's some cracked black pepper in it. It's pure, rustic mountain dessert. I told you. I wouldn't change one. Actually, we have two minutes remaining. I... The one thing that I would change, I would probably put a little bit more butter and I would just not crisp it this much to the, at the edge, but actually it's kind of interesting. And it's, it's fall. And it's, um, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I think it's the perfect marriage between Italy and uh, America. I mean, it's not as perfect as we are. <laughs> we are the perfect marriage uh -huh. of Italy and uh -huh. America. Uh -huh. You got your citizenship, babe. It's okay. Truly, these two things. We're having a threesome, actually a quadrisome. We have pizza, American flag, apple pie and pizza dough, and Alice and Ben. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for being here. This has been really fun. I really love this. I hope you liked it. I hope you uh, are going to try this. Um, I'm writing all the recipes down, okay? So I will get them to you, I promise. I'm writing them down, making sure that they're perfect, okay? So with the new website, I have my dear friend Abby that is working on my website. She's doing miracles on it. And I'm gonna have all these recipes that we have been making together, okay? So please try, they're easy. I'll give you the name of the book for the, for the dough. Try to make it, okay? And just send me pictures and share it with me. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you for everything. I love you and buon appetito, buonanotte, wherever you are. And God bless America. Bye, guys.